Welcome to game day. Today we're playing Silly Chins. It's a game I used to play all the time as a kid, and now I play it with my students. You basically make your chin into a puppet. It's pretty fun. Your mouth remains your mouth, but your chin is now your forehead. And you have a chance to decorate the eyes and headwear. We started with googly eyes and feathers, with some double-sided scotch tape to attach our feathery hair. But you can even start just by using a washable marker on your chin. Try and identify the character of your silly chin as you dress them. The character's name will help us determine the character's personality, as any good English lit teacher will tell you. Bob is different than, say, Lieutenant Stinky Pants. Hey, bald Bob. Where it's UK. He's just like bald, but he put a little wig on. The interview format is a great way to get to know these characters. Have the kids lie on their backs with a scarf or a piece of fabric over their nose and eyes. We made microphones out of pencils and pipe cleaners. You can use an iPhone or any household item to direct the attention to the mouth like a microphone. In this upside down position, frowns become smiles and smiles become frowns. It's a great opportunity to explore the emotional life of your kid. Ask the silly chins questions about their special skills. Uh, can you show me how you sing opera, please? And invite the other kids to be part of the interview process. Silly chins is such a great game for a number of reasons. First of all, a lot of us, we feel uncomfortable when asked questions. And all of us as parents know, sometimes it's hard to get information from our children when we just ask them direct questions. And silly chins, you can interview your child, you can learn about how they're thinking, how they're feeling, but it tends to be easier for children to divulge because it's not them that's speaking, it's their chin. It's also super silly, let's face it. And so everyone needs a chance to sort of diffuse tension in a house sometimes. And it's a great way to connect, to bond, to just be silly and have a lot of fun. And finally, sometimes you just want to know about how, what your child's thinking about. What are the topics they bring up when they're interviewing? What are strengths that they discuss? What are weaknesses? It's a lovely way to inspire communication when sometimes it's not so easy. Find your chin's name and voice, set up your interview, and get ready to laugh. Instagram us your silly chins and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a game. We'll see you next time on Child's Play in Action.